episode of Warp Jester does SMP on the Bottle Rocket Gaming Server. Hooray! Uh, finally get a chance to sit down and uh, uh, do a little recording here and actually have time to do it. It's amazing. Uh, I actually uh, uh, talked in the past, I believe, about getting myself set up in my new office, and I finally got there. Uh, I posted some pictures up on the Bottle Rocket Gaming uh, website that show the actual computer I have set up. I do uh, uh, for playing and editing and whatnot. And uh, so, yeah, I finally got set up there, so I have time to actually record without being interrupted, so this could be nice. And uh, I've actually been wanting to do something for a while, and that while is actually uh, getting a few things done around the server and doing some recording of more of a segmented style. So I'll actually be able to, you know, show you what I'm doing and then take some time to go do it and then come back and show you what's been done in the finished product. It's uh, not as easy as you might think. Oh, by the way, if you see all these webs around here... That's uh, Turgo's new pet. He got a little creeper minion, and as you can see from those swirls, he is a infernal pet. <laughs> so now he's got two different creatures making messes everywhere. Ah, oh, I tell you, I there there are some days, you know, <laughs> bad pet choices, Turgo, bad. Um, yeah, so I I decided. Uh, We'd catch up on a few things here, and uh, then uh, start on a project. Now, just to give you guys some kind of news and errata, uh, as you know from the last video, BDA joined us, and I'm very excited about that. He's doing some great builds, and he has plans, to, as soon as he's done with his uh, house here, to... Uh, oh, well, not, not this house here, that house there, but the one way back there is really pretty. But anyways, um, if you haven't seen his videos yet, go see him, because he has got a gorgeous dirt house. Shut up, sheep. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so he's joined the server, and uh, as I told you, we got a couple of people on there. I still want to sit down and actually do kind of a, uh, a greeting video with uh, Snow Wolf. I feel really bad. I just haven't had time to, to hang out with Snow Wolf. We've got plans in the works for a city for him. But anyways, BDA is going to be starting a city um, all pretty soon. He's going to announce it sooner than later, I hope, because I'd love to be able to shut it off. Um, so that's kind of neat stuff coming up. Uh, we're still working on the 1.7 mod pack. Now, it's going to be a while before you guys have access to it, but you will have access to it. The mod pack we're making this time around is going to be a fully, quote-unquote, legit uh, mod pack that we have rights and permissions from everybody for. So we're actually going to be able to release that mod pack to public, which is going to be really nice. Um, love those trees. But... Uh, Definitely going to be working on that some more. Turgo and I have, have talked about things. And basically what it boiled down to is we've uh, decided we want to do the most current we can. So it's going to be a 1.7.10 now that's out. So, hooray! Uh, so we'll get there. Um, anyways, beyond that, we're pretty much looking at uh, uh, getting uh, getting rolling on that and doing some mini games as well. So... We'll see what we can do about that. Now, uh, for today's episode, I actually want to get into work on my house a little bit. I've been meaning to get around to this forever. You guys had, had saw some of the beginnings of it, but now BDA's got a good house going. i got to get my, get my game on here and, and clean up snow. What the hell? Oh, for the love of Christ. What? Let it snow. That's the... What? Wait. Ah, oh, crap, I know this. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. No. No, 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 no. Oh, for the love of Fiesti! That's it. She's going to get it. She's going to get it. I just got pranked. She's going to get... Uh, damn, now I got to clean all this up, too. Huh? <laughs> all right. Now it's war. Now it's war. <sighs> oh. I'm going to clean up messes before you can do anything. All right. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we got the our little prank cleaned up. Um, uh, um, yeah, that that's VST by the way. That's the one who played the prank on me. So we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get even. Her her house along with her uh, roommates is right there. So I will ponder. 
ponder turn. <laughs> All right, so as I said, we're going to go ahead and do some work on the house here. And today, I am going to work on the outside of the house, try to get the rest of it um, kind of fleshed out here. We've got big old blank wall over here, big old blank wall back here. Hello, rain, go away. Uh, and then we've got this little area back here. And I want to change the chimney up. Right now, the chimney is just kind of a solid, full chimney. So I'm going to make the stairs go way down so we can kind of see down the middle of it. Um, but we'll try to work on all of that. And my thought is we can kind of get the skin done. And then from there, we can start working on the insides. Now, I can't remember if I gave you guys a proper uh, proper tour uh, in here or not. So you've got the main, uh, main entryway right here in kind of a sitting area. And then you've got the dining hall back here. You've got the kitchen right here, full walk-in kitchen, uh, center island, a little uh, walk-in pantry back here. And uh, then over here, you're going to have a sunken living room with a fireplace. Again, this is all just kind of playing around, testing things out. Uh, we're going to put some ceiling of some sort up here. Um, and then the second floor, right above is a back door here. Uh, and of course, a back door over there. Ah, anyways, and half half showing you around, and half refamiliarizing myself with my place. Uh, if you go up the stairs here, go up, 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 up. And we got a little closet right here, a little storage closet, and then you got the main hallway. Now in here we've got more snow. I apparently did not uh, did not see from VSD, so yeah, more clean up to do later. Uh, main bedroom here, we got a master bedroom with a little bathroom in the back there, and we've got a walk-in closet to go the way through around and back. I've got my personal safe and some storage here. So I'll probably have this room filled up with personal storage, so any kind of personal item, I'll just put them in here. Call it good. And then you've got a little sitting area out here with a little balcony I'll put up, and you'll be able to see down into the main room. So that's the interior. The exterior, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go run with the uh, the faux or uh, Tudor-style uh, look I've uh, decided on. Now, I, I, again, I, I tend to take inspiration from real-world stuff of some sort or another and then kind of run with that and figure out how I'm going to do it for my world. Um, so I found a picture, picture of a house that I showed you last time that is the uh, the style of home I like. It's just called a Tudor-style home. Um, it's usually a mix of, uh, uh, like in this case, brick as a base. And then you've got uh, uh, the white uh, white walls here uh, with a beam supporting it. So you can kind of see how this looks here. So this side, this style right here, with the kind of the beams going into it, and then you've got a section that's all brick. I'll probably end up doing some uh, some more of the uh, beams along here somewhere as well. I'll get a little little break up here and there. I'm gonna have to go back and forth, kind of. Pull one thing out, put it back, change it around a little bit, do something else. Kind of just keep going back and forth till it feels right. And that's that's probably one of the hardest things about doing these kind of builds, especially trying to record these kind of builds, is you're constantly trying to uh, um, work with it to figure out how it's going to fit, how it's going to seem. And a lot of times it, it just takes a lot of uh, you put it together, no, it doesn't look right, break it apart, put something else together, try that out, no, it doesn't work, and just kind of keep working with it. Um, it, it, it it's fun, but it does take time, and that's one of those things you have to kind of be patient with and uh, figure out what you're gonna do. The other thing too is using materials. Now, even though I want to do a Tudor style home, um, which is typically brick and beams and and white, <laughs> um, figuring out what you're gonna use for materials is important, and and I definitely advise uh, do a do a pallet, do a pallet wall. Figure out what you're going to use, get a whole bunch of different materials, and then narrow it down to the ones you like. I took mine down a while ago, but I'll put it back up here just for the example's sake. There we go. Um, but this gives you an idea of how things look. Materials look if they're uh, conductive textures or they're going to be. This wall originally actually went all the way across, way out past this chest here. And it gave me an idea of what I wanted to go with. So, for example, uh, trying to decide what the white walls are going to be, what I want to use here. Now, I've decided on quartz in this case, but I put up snow, I put up quarried stone, um, just trying to get a feel for what looks best. So, for me, like I said, quartz seemed to be kind of the, the fit for me. If they were a connective texture, it would have been awesome because then this line would have been gone. But, you know, but they're choosers. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and run this uh, pretty much all the way around here, uh, start in the front section. I'm thinking I'll go ahead and do the brick 
kind of up through here. Uh, and then probably do some more of the uh, um, uh, Tudor beams and uh, uh, white wall. Uh, so I have this kind of a section here. I am going to do a, a brick base for it, kind of a foundation of brick. Um, I think that's A, appropriate, and B, looks really nice. So I'm going to run with that for this. Ooh, hungry. Hungry. <laughs> Always catches me off guard. If I get hit by hunger, it's like, wow, what the hell? What's hitting me? Oh, wait. I forgot to eat again. <laughs> uh, for those of you who haven't seen it before, this is a glowy bread. This is from uh, Zeno's Reliquary uh, mod. And it is literally a bread you put together with some other items and elements. And it uh, pretty much one piece of bread will, will fill up your entire hunger bar. And then some. So pretty good stuff to have. Um, all right. So that's kind of the idea. I'm going to go ahead and run with this real quick. Let me get this front face done. And then I'll bring you back here. And we'll uh, chit chat a little bit and see what the next steps are. So I'll be uh, right back. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, went ahead and got most of the skin done here. Uh, take a little, quick look around real quick. <laughs> um, so as I told you, we're going to do kind of a, a, a semi-tutor. Got some brick work, uh, some tutor in some places. Um, it's kind of hard for me to figure out what exactly we want to do with some of, the, some of the places and areas here, just because of the way things lay out. So I'm kind of making judgment calls on where I want to put stuff. So I decided to do a brick across the back here. This is pretty typical of areas aren't going to be seen. They don't want to bother with the, the fancy. So they do the kind of simple stuff. Um, I'm doing tight tutor across here. So every two spots I've got tutor and I'm starving. Again. <laughs> I'm going to put a little window up here for the loft here. I forgot to show you. I actually have a little loft up here. I'm going to... Uh, hi, Rain. I'm going to uh, put a little la uh, ladder up into. It seems like Things are awfully loud around here. I'll turn that way down. Done. I'll be looking forward to the 1.7 mod pack where we can actually have individual slider controls for the volume. That would be very nice. I come around back here. Got a couple small windows for um, the uh, dining area. I'm going to change it up a little bit. And then you've got, I'm putting like a little bay window in for the kitchen. I'm not sure how I'm going to tie that in just yet. I'm just trying to play with things. It, it's a really big, long, low wall. Trying to figure out what I want to do with this is going to be hard. And then you've got this wall over here, which is kind of just a nice big flat wall. So um, the Tudors do tend to have diagonals uh, put into them. Um, I'll be honest with you. I really just did not want to try to deal with that because, like, this, for example, it's not a perfect square, so diagonal is actually kind of off. And trying to do diagonals in Minecraft is a pain. <laughs> so I'm going to take a pass on that for right now. Anyways, I, I do like the way it looks. I am liking how things are turning out here. Um, I'm not going for super-duper fancy. I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I can. I mean, I'm not quite as skilled as uh, <clears throat> some people around here. <laughs> but I do try, and I do have fun with it. Like I said, this is still a big feat for me because... This is just straight up cosmetic personal thing. I've never, um, never done a house for myself, so just getting this done is kind of a big deal. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, um, glass done. Now, the glass is gonna be kind of a kind of a thing because um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of glass I like and what am I doing? Good heavens. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the windows. We talked uh, previously about uh, which ones should be best. And I've got some input from some of the BRGers here on glasses. But kind of even split in terms of uh, what people like for glass. So that's kind of a kind of a thing. God, Lord, I have forgotten how to make glass panes. Give me crickets. How to make glass panes again. Thank you. Okay. So there, one over there, and there we go. Okay, so make a few of those. I just made way more than I wanted, but oh well. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm, I'm, grr. I'm really feeling like I like the stuff on top. I really do, and it's just kind of a personal preference thing, granted. But I, I think I'm going to go with. So we're going to grab our uh, chisel here. And do I have it? Oh, please tell me I have my chisel. This is a carpenter's chisel. Uh, well, bup kiss. 
Uh, I cannot see where my other chisel is. Got this one chisel right here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Found it. I lose my mind. Yay. <laughs> All right. So I'll go ahead and make some uh, chisel. If you haven't played the chisel mod before, uh, definitely check it out. It's pretty fun. You can see here you can take uh, most of the uh, different vanilla blocks of different types and then make them into some be beautiful, different looking stuff. So you got some different types of glass here, for example. So I'm going to go with this Japanese glass pane. Um, I'm going to try those out. Now, I'm still kind of derping around with, uh, again, some of the different window designs. Up here, for example, to get this centered, I had to use half slabs. So in order to get something in between here, I'm going to have to do some different glass because I can't uh, micro-block the chisel glass. So that's going to become an interesting effect. Um, we'll see how that works. If I can find some glass that kind of works with the look, I guess you could say. But doesn't just out and out make it look absolutely gaudy. If I can't do that, I'm gonna have to do a double wide window up there, or I'm gonna have to just straight up uh, uh, just get rid of it. Which made me kind of sad. <laughs> uh, this guy here, now this is gonna be kind of a a tall tale sign. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I'm not even sure what to think. <laughs> Okay, then. Yes, yeah, so this is a problem with Freddy we're going to run into here, which is with this kind of glass, glass panes, they don't connect to anything that's not a solid block. And carpenter's blocks are not considered a uh, solid block, as you can see. So that makes things a little more difficult. So I may have to go with solid full blocks for windows in here. Yee, not ideal. Not ideal at all. All right, well, we'll come back to that in a little bit here. Um, but like I said, I'm just kind of going through and just getting a feel for uh, everything along here. Um, if I have to go switch to full block windows, I may end up switching them all out just because I really don't like having... Hello, that's a big old hole. <laughs> I really don't want to have, like, you know, actually properly... I cannot speak today. Properly recessed panes in some windows, but then I have uh, full blocks in others. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. I might cheat a little bit and do like some uh, uh, half slab uh, with uh, carpenter's blocks and put those in see if that works. So we'll play with that a little bit and see how it goes. Um, what else is there? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I feel fix the roof pieces here. I got some uh, slopes for it. Um, but that's pretty much what I'm going along for right now. Like I said, I'm just trying to get a feel for how windows look and what form I want them to look uh, for different areas. I'm probably going to bump this guy out a little bit and actually make him uh, um, like a little wider. So we'll go ahead and pop him out here. This is pretty much what my entire time here has been. It's just literally poking through and see how things look, how things feel and uh, constant adjustment. Always kind of put something up, step back, get a feel for it, put something up, and try again. <laughs> and you just keep going through it. Oops. Hello there, Wrongwood. How you doing? That's one thing about this, uh, I forget what mod it is, but it's just uh, the functionality of having the autofill. The problem with it is, is it has, if it has similar materials, like in this case two different woods, it's going to put the one with the lower number, which is fine, seems logical, except then you've got the issue of if I have a different wood that's a lower number, it pulls that one first, and that kind of sucks. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, get that there. There we go. We'll try putting the glass in here. Um, There's this a little quirks to the mod. It's always kind of interesting. Now let's take a step back here for a minute because the way I'm looking at things here, I'm kind of seeing how things look from different vantage points, and it looks okay. I, I'm not immensely, you know, ecstatic about it, per se. Um, but it looks okay. Definitely should have some uh, more redwood here. There we go. And there we go. I usually like to wrap my windows, but having a little bit of the top might be the one I want. Let's find out. Because I always put away the windows when I need them, because I am just that smart. <laughs> there we go. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I'll put some up here. 
And again, I'll go ahead and change out these. Um, I know, like I said, I'm, I'm not a, a, I don't consider myself a designer or anything like that. I'm, I'm not a B double O, I'm not a uh, big damn artist, anything like that. But I do like uh, doing some uh, some pretty builds on then. Uh, I showed you the uh, power plant with the uh, substation out back. It's a little hybrid uh, functional as well as uh, pretty. And, you know, I, I enjoy, I really, really enjoy things like that. So that's, that's the kind of stuff I don't mind at all. Um, but a lot of it really is, especially at this point with this house, it, it really is just a creative space to kind of derp around, try some new ideas. I like doing the slope grooves I've never done before. So I wanted to see what it was like and see how it looks and feels and so on. I'm going to pop this out and put a piece of wood in. I just, it, that's driving me nuts. There we go. Maybe I'll, uh, sculpt things. I'm going to try and make it so like uh, foundations and whatnot kind of full brick with a uh, you know wrap around like this. Make things look appropriate for everything. So, so that's looking pretty good. Alright. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some tests with the carpenter's blocks and full block glass and see if that works any better for this area here. If that does, I'll probably do it on the back side as well. I'm going to add a few more windows across the back side as well as maybe even put some uh, dormers up on the back side here because this back roof really looks kind of bland. So I'm going to put some dormers in for that uh, loft space, make it look nice. I might like that. So uh, I'll go, go ahead and uh, take care of that, and then we'll come on back in a moment. So I'll be uh, right back. Hey, guys, welcome back. All right, so everything is pretty much done. Um, I'm very happy with it. I do like the look of it. I did some adjustments here. Now, put a conversation. We went with the uh, Japanese glass here, the little dots. I mean, this kind of felt like they worked better for this style. Um, I did end up weighing this out because, like I said, I couldn't do half slabs of chiseled block. We can't come into half slabs or micro blocks. So I can't do the half, half, uh, you know, half brick, half other thing to make it look like a center window. So I just went ahead and winded it out. Um, I think that's going to look good from the inside as well, which we'll get to another episode. Um, went ahead and went through. I did go ahead and do the cheaty thing. I did the uh, carpenter's blocks on as a half slab and then threw the uh, uh, glass panes into it. So it makes things look proper from the outside. The inside is going to be a little odd because you're going to have it flush. Hi, Rain. How you doing? Go away again. Um, the inside is going to be flush instead of indent like this is, so I'm going to deal with that somehow. You can kind of see it through there. You can see how the glass is actually flush with the brick. But we'll worry about that another time. Um, likewise, coming back around here, uh, just, again, real basic, throwing the windows in. Nothing nothing new or different. I did adjust this a little bit, and this is taking a cue from the front side. Um, the uh, roof kind of sticks out a little bit from the window, so I did a little bay window with a wood wrap, and it's made a short little eave for it to hang out from. So that's pretty much it for that. And that's pretty much it for this episode. So, as always, uh, I do appreciate you taking the time to sit down and watch with me. Um, if you'd like to leave a comment, if you have any questions, curiosities, and whatnot, as I always say, please feel free to leave comments down below. However, if you really want to be able to have a dynamic conversation, as I always say, uh, please feel free to go to Bottle Rocket Gaming. Dot com and go ahead and sign up on the website there. All ages are welcome, as I always say. <laughs> I was going to say this every time. Um, <laughs> so definitely go over there and sign up. It's worth it. That way, again, you can hang out with us, talk with us, see what's going on, be interactive. We always appreciate that. And it gets you a chance to actually uh, see what's coming up. So always encourage it. And, of course, if you could leave a like down below if you enjoyed this episode, it's always appreciated. It helps you out in the rankings, what little bit there is. Um, but, you know, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> So go ahead and do that if you like. Um, next episode, who knows what it's going to be. Um, if I get time to do it, I'll go ahead and you know start working on the interior of this house. Uh, however, there are a lot of other pressing projects I've got to get done, including uh, the rail line going out to Mining Town, the rail line going out to Snow Wolf's new place. Um, and, of course, uh, as I said before, uh, new things afoot for a town for BDA, this guy over here. Um, he's going to be starting a new town, which I'm not going to say anything yet because he hasn't officially, so, um, but I'm looking forward to that a lot, <laughs> like a whole lot. <laughs> so that's it for now. As always, people, I do appreciate it. And please feel free to subscribe if you like what you see here and I will catch you next time. Bye.